Yeah, obviously the odds were against us uh, regarding the budget, quality, the depth of the of Ike. Um, they are really high level team, but we really felt before the game that uh, that we can compete them. I think uh, we did. The effort was there. We still, um, you know, struggling with the find our way. Uh, they have a lot of experienced players. It's sometimes easier uh, for them to manage situation during the during the game. But in general. We fought, we played hard, we never give up. It was, you know, a few situations that uh, they could break us and they didn't. And, uh, you know, we left, uh, I think, 11 points on the line that we miss. This is a lot. If you want to win games like this, you need to be more con more uh, focused about these kind of things. But uh, I think we have a pretty good future. You know, we need to improve, work hard. We will do it, and uh, as long as the season will go by, we we will improve and we will get better. Look, we analyzed the game uh, after regarding the effort uh, and the activity and aggressiveness. Uh, we play the same. We match the the more or less the aggressiveness and the the will uh, the will effort. Uh, but in the end of the day, their quality decided the game. Okay, they have, um, like I said before, quality players, experienced players that uh, face this uh, kind of games many, many times uh, before, and they know exactly how to function uh, and how to generate in these kind of games uh, with a lot of uh, calmness, and uh, and they made the right plays. So I, I give them respect. First of all, uh, I think we have a good atmosphere. I think the guys uh, uh, really support each other, and this is only a good start, uh, an important start in the life of a team. Uh, I need to do uh, to find a way how to use more guys. Obviously, uh, this game was a little bit uh, unique. Basically, we go all, we we went all in on this game and try to. We went uh, short rotation, but we will find a way to. We have a lot of uh, young, good players that we will uh, find a way to to uh, get them into the game, and they will help us. Uh, and I see, I see a good future for us. For sure, you can see it in the. In the teams that participate or they join even the, the, the BCL this season. And, it, and I think it's going to be uh, more and more attractive and uh, the level will, uh, will go high. I think teams understand that the uh, EuroLeague is only, only, almost untouchable for them. And at some point they will uh, give up on this and uh, they will join BCL. And I think in a uh, few years' time, the near future, it will be the second biggest uh, competition with uh, with really high level uh, teams. Oh, I said it before. Uh, for me, it's not about uh, the title, you know, or it's more about the meaning of the recognition of the uh, the work we do, you know, the appreciation of. What we are doing and the, and the hours and the time we we sacrifice and, and we put uh, on the office and the, on the court uh, uh, without our families. So of course uh, it's it's not belong. I mean I get the title because I'm in the front, but it's the title is belongs to a lot of people behind. You know it's uh, Sasha and Richka for sure. This is. We are like one unit, you know, and uh, uh, families that support us uh, and accept the situation that we are not at home uh, a lot, uh, and uh, organization uh, behind you, uh, and and then this is a, a, a big end. You cannot do it without good players, you know, and and you cannot do it without. Um, 
the players to dedicate everything every day to the to the team and i think we had uh, we had and still have very very good players very good people personalities so you know they made made me look good uh the way they perform okay uh so basically it's a it's a it's a appreciation for what we do, we, are, we are doing and it give you the confidence that maybe you are doing something right I think, look, uh, along the way you meet a lot of uh, coaches that you work. I had the privilege to work with the best coaches. I was, I played for Pini Gershon and David Blatt. I was uh, assistant to Odette Katash and Brad Greenberg, like really. And then, then of course, Neno, which is like uh, more than a coach for me. So I learned from everybody. I, uh, I pick up stuff from everybody. But in the end of the day, you need to have your own way and your own ideas and I think um, like maybe it's not a good time but I will <laughs> you need to take some things from the Israeli army that, that you cannot build only on the on the past you always think even if you're doing something good you need to think what next okay and I feel like uh, this is important to always try to move forward and look for new ideas uh, of course you need to Keep up your roots and your uh, foundation. You know, this is very important. But you need to all the time look and search for new ideas uh, to be better. And I'm trying to do it. And I failed a lot. You know, it's not like everything we do in life we succeed. We succeed. But uh, failures are, uh, are good for us uh, in order to improve and to get better. So we try a lot of stuff. I, I cannot count. Like uh, when we went off the plane, I had like around 200 messages waiting for me, uh, only in WhatsApp and then the, then Facebook and everything. But I tried. I really tried to ignore, not ignore, but to to, to put it away for uh, for uh, these two days because I want to focus and concentrate on the on I game. Um, some of them were, I get basically a lot of, uh, a lot of appreciation for ex-players that I played with in the 90s, uh, ex-players that play for me, uh, most of them text, um, people that I don't know, uh, and of course coaches, colleagues, uh, family, okay, you know, it's fun, but it's like I said, it's a five, five minutes glory and then you need to get back on the ground and, and be ready for the next, uh, for the next uh, challenge.